everybody. Welcome back to the ACB Podcast. You're here with your constant co-hosts, Matty J, Drake G, and Colton Dean. Guys, I'm not going to lie, that was weird because in the normal setup, you sit to my right. So I, I was do, like, yeah. Matty J, Drake G, nope, that's wrong. <laughs> Matty J, it's Drake me. G, nope, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're here. Yeah, it's Colton D. Change the locations for this week. Just Indeed. for this week. Yeah, we are having work done in our apartment that we only found out was happening yesterday. Last so. night. Even. Yeah. Oh yeah, they walked in at like six o'clock at night, and we're just like, "Here's your notice." Right? They came. No, I was I, no, because I worked like yesterday, so it was before I went to work. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> they really came in that early. Yes. <laughs> you just have no concept of time. I'm not used here. to waking True. up before eleven o'clock, so I guess I just don't remember anything <laughs> before eleven o'clock. <laughs> yeah. At all. Ever. Yeah, it was before I left. Interesting. So it Do you was know what I think we should start doing? What? I was thinking about this the other day. Oh, and you gosh. know how like uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine has amazing cold openings? Yes. I was thinking we should start to try and add some production value <laughs> with some cold openings in the in like the back half of the... We'll get together like uh, on our off days and like go to the writer's room. <laughs> I'm not mad about that. That would no, be great. I think, it'd be I think that's a great idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just like think back to like some of the cold openings where like they move the chief's... Uh, like podium in the oh, in the like by like or whatever it is, what by you, like, like by three centimeters. It was yeah. like some stupidly, some stupidly low, low number. number. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's all good though. I yeah. couldn't. Uh, I, I was just. Th- I was just like, hey, we kind of do so a little cold open. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? So like, we could s- step it up. Anyway, I don't want to. Pro- I don't want to overpromise and underdeliver here. So don't worry about it. For yeah, the maybe that's time. a season five thing. <laughs> maybe that's a season three hundred and seventy nine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're all dead. And- the next That's a hundred dollar goal on the Patreon <laughs> yeah. that we have don't that have. Don't yeah. have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. fine, guys. Oh, uh, how's the week? Boy, it's been a week. Has it? The last few times we've recorded this, it was on a Saturday. Yeah. And oh yeah, that's it's right. really weird hearing how's the week and it being a Wednesday now because yeah. I'm like, man, I haven't done anything. <laughs> like usually, I at least have like basketball to talk about or something. Yeah. But this week has cons- I started skipping rope. Did you? I'm gonna and I'm gonna talk about this because I talked about it for hours last night with a bunch of my friends. Okay, um, okay, okay. I, uh, I, I've had a skipping rope for a while now, but I just yeah. never used it. And okay. I was like looking online, and it's basically like the perfect exercise for basketball players. Because yep. it's gonna like help me lose some weight, and like the whole concept is it's getting cold out. Probably don't want to go for a run every night when it's like mm-hmm. freezing outside. No, so absolutely. Gotta not. find an alternative. Gotta find um, that alternative. But it's good for strengthening ankles, mm-hmm. increasing vertical, yep. and losing belly fat. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. those three things are high tier in my priorities. Hell I yeah. I say, well, I eat a ginormous almond croissant. Oh, I'm not like healthy, but like <laughs> if I can do something to counteract the gain of weight, then I'll, yeah. be yes. doing a, I'll be doing a positive thing. If you're outputting more than you're inputting, that's yeah. the way to go. But yeah, no, and it's actually like genuinely fun. Like I find it fun to just challenge myself to get to like a certain amount of skips or like a yeah. certain time period or something. Yeah, um, I need to put this down because I'm going to do you, that the whole did podcast. You, did you make Can a setting for wood one? yet? Did I make a setting for wood? Yeah. I'm not sure I understand here. Don't remember that. David Tennant, the oh, werewolf God. episode. Yes, 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 can't yes, lock yes. the wooden doors because there's, no the there's no setting for wood. There's no setting for wood. Yeah, that's so good. And it carries through into one Peter my, Capaldi's yeah. Doctor. One of my favorite episodes uh, is when they're stuck. Um, they're all stuck, like the three iterations of the Doctor. Mm-hmm. So Tennant, uh, Matt Smith, and then uh, War Doc. War, the War Doctor. Whose, whose name is eluding me right now. Um, uh, Richard. Pryor. Nope. nope. <laughs> Not even close. Um, yeah, we, we need to find seconds. that out. But but basically, they're like trying to melt the door the whole time with their sonic screwdrivers. And he like scans the door. John Hurt. John Hurt. Yeah. Thank you. John Hurt's the R.I.P. Yeah, John. Yeah. R.I.P. John Hurt. Um, and he's like. And they've got like their screwdrivers out and they're trying to melt the door and he like scans it. But in order to break down the molecular DNA of the wood or whatever, it has to take like thousands of years. But then they come to the realization. Oh, my God. I wonder if it's the same sconic screwdriver, the code. And then they go to they go to open it, and then the dude opens the door from behind, and he's like, I left it open for you guys this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Yep. Such good times. 
Dude, this Americano was fire. Yeah, the cappuccino is pretty spicy too. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, you're not hating yourself, so we'll we'll, we'll unpack that in a minute. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, I, I, through I, this one. I love Doctor Who. I'm even going to watch the newest Doctor. I think I've resolved. Um, I haven't seen. I actually never finished watching um, Capaldi. Peter Capaldi's mm-hmm. time as when he had Capaldi lost me, and I and I I understand why he. I love Capaldi, but mm. I also understand why he only got the two. limited amount of seasons. Two seasons. Yeah, two. Yeah. One. I think it was two. Two. No, I think he got two seasons because yeah. he was with. Um, Matt Smith's old flame. For Claire, a while. Clara, yeah. Clara Oswald was season one, and then and then it was the other girl who I don't know because I never watched that yeah. season. Exactly. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't stay with Capaldi, and then the new. There was a lot of like politicizing drama around the news. Who was going season. to be the next? Yeah, so doctor. I just avoided the whole concept. And everybody was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe the doctor's a woman." Oh no! Even though they can literally be whatever they want. Yeah. Um. I. Yeah. I don't know. I. I will watch it. Yeah, I'll get to it at some point. I'm sure. Yeah, at one point in my life, it's just not easy to watch right now because no. you have to like rent it or like buy it, and I'm not. I'm not here for that. Yeah. No. Not even close. Yeah. Exactly. But that being said, it's all good either way. Mm-hmm. Um. How was your week? My week. Um, I also feel like I cut you off, Colton. But I'm sorry. I don't okay. Um. How was my week? Um, I don't really know. I guess it was okay. Um, I played a little disc golf on uh, Sunday. Didn't fall down and hit my head on a tree stump, which was advantageous. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so like, uh, I honestly, I, I'm pulling a Drake here, but like, I really haven't had anything that's like terrifyingly exciting. We did have a movie Drake. night the other night. I think that's a me. <laughs> I'm the boring one. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, but no. Like Drake's always just like Drake's always just like I worked. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like I, I I worked too. No. Yeah. Right? I yep. I yeah. don't even say that. <laughs> you literally I think that's the dichotomy me. though. I think that's where it happens. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. Uh no, my I guess my week was pretty good. I mean, we played um uh, you guys heard of Divinity Original Sin and Original Sin 2. So yep. we played... Uh, do you guys own that game, by the way? No. Okay. Um, it, every once in a while, it'll come on the Steam store uh, on sale. But um, Price point? Yeah. Uh, maybe even G2A might give you a good one. Um, I believe it's like 30 bucks. That's not bad. Um, That's not bad at all. No, it's not. And sometimes you can even get G2A codes for cheaper. Mm-hmm. My buddy Johnny just got a code. Shout out Johnny. And uh, we were playing a save right now. We just left Fort Joy. Um, but it's really good game. It's very, um, um, it's very like Dungeons and Dragons esque. Okay. Right. Uh, which is why we, we love it. Um, when they made Baldur's Gate three, yeah, they basically adapted the fifth edition rules, but that's all Larian, right? Right. Larian studios. And, um, so like Baldur's Gate three is crazy cool. That's awesome. Uh, but Larian, like Divinity Original Sin 2 is really good. The graphics aren't as good as BG3, but obviously BG3 is newer. Yes. I would argue, though, that the the action economy in Divinity Original Sin 2 is just as unique as 5th edition. Cool. It's really fun. All right. So, uh, but yeah, right now uh, we just... Okay, so I think that, uh, yeah, I, I uh, have to do a little editing there, so apologies, everybody. But um, yeah, I think that... So, like, the action economy is really cool in Divinity. Mm. It's based on an action point system. All movement uh, is based on action points. So you okay. get so many meters of movement depending ah. on your character build. And then you have abilities. Mm-hmm. Um, um, in terms of, like, the typical stats, there's yeah. strength and finesse. Yeah. Right? And then there's wits. Um, there's intelligence, right? So there's j- some cool stuff. Um, you get to be like rangers and sorcerers and all of the funny stuff, and then you can take like multi-classing and bring points into different places to get to get different abilities. So it's similar but not not the same. Um, pretty good though. Would encourage to play. Cool, um, that's good to know. We just yeah, always looking for games that we can play. Yep. Uh, together that uh, aren't aren't, uh, aren't league that aren't league. Yeah. Because even though league is fun. <laughs> yeah. mm. It can go from fun to not from fun. fun to not fun very quickly. I don't know if it's had any fun factors for the last like three years. I'm just addicted at this point. <laughs> it's fine. 
You play a lot of TFT though, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. It, it's got its own. It's got its own vibe, right? Like I. Yeah, I but don't I don't play with anyone because everyone else hates it. So. Yeah, I don't play TFT because I don't really like the format. But it's not that the game is bad or anything. Um, I think everyone else would disagree with you. <laughs> no, I don't disagree. I don't like the format, and I, I don't like, don't the, like the game. Yeah. That's just that's yeah. all I have. No, I don't really play any games like that. To be honest, it's not just like a no yeah, thing. Auto battlers it's just are just really me. mindless for me when I like yeah. it. Oh no, no, no. It's something to do. It's, it's that's to your taste, man. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. I just um, I'm yeah. already almost gold. I hear it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. I can't even. I'm hard stuck bronze too in League of Legends regular, and I can't get out. No, I'll never be anything. More I want than you like to carry me. I want Drake regular. strap me on your back <laughs> and carry me to silver four. Put put the carry pants on for next season. Yeah. No, next season I think we should get gold. I I'll try. I got I'll silver too. Yeah. I think I, I could say close. next season I should also be a billionaire, but neither of those things are gonna happen. So <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good enough. We could get gold. We just don't play enough games. No, I think I could get S- to gold four. S- speak for yourself, homie. I don't think I could get to gold. I don't have the commitment. Gold? Gold's yeah. not a commitment. Just play better. It's a commitment in the sense that I have to play ranked. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't enjoy that very much. <laughs> it's not even like that I care about the added pressure. It's the fact that every ranked game gets ruined by like an AFK or something. Like I don't get how I can play 10 normals in a row and yeah. nothing bad goes down. And then as soon as I queue up for ranked, it's like, oh, you have two AFKs and one guy who didn't pick the right ruins. Like, do they go in and just blank and they're just like well time to ruin someone else's day or what yes yes know. the short it's answer so is annoying. yes but here's the key it's a duo party because we do a pretty solid for like yep what like a month oh yeah yeah absolutely yeah and we like the hardest we've ever climbed has been well the hardest i've ever climbed <laughs> has been in those in that in those in weeks that, in that period right we were doing what like three game. we were probably doing what like maybe like Eight or nine games ranked a week. Yeah, at least, which is low for which is low for low for a climb. Yeah, overall, but like we were, you know, I was bronze four. Yeah, and now I'm bronze two. I was iron actually at one point. So, I think I got from bronze one to silver three with you. Yep, and then from silver three to silver two, mm-hmm. just in the last couple of weeks I of ranked. Used to I was play like, ranked with anybody. Okay, I don't do it I unless understand. it's me and Dan, and it's only because. He's the only one on at 2 a.m. <laughs> Other than that, I don't ranked with anybody because I enter ranked I games wanna, and I type slash mute all and I just play. I want to. Uh, I want to. Except um, for pings, of course, because I have to warn people. In yeah, the game. I want to. Um, like when we duoed, we had I played jungle. Like I'm queuing. I'm I'm queuing now jungle mid. Yeah. And you queue what? ADC either bot top or bot mid bot top bot mid yeah yeah so we have coverage in in both of the in both of the sort of partnerships of the game Mm -hmm. so we can directly influence you know let's say four fifths of the map's performance yeah absolutely so I think that that's the pro strat if you want to climb duo yeah you you either have like you jungle and some carry lane whether that's mid or bot mm-hmm. or you have bot support like just full bot lane yeah yeah i think so too e- even like full bot lane though is scary because sometimes you can go off but if the other yes three components, oh yeah the other three solo or the other two solo lanes in the jungle shit the bed you can't right no it's true yeah. i'd rather um i would rather um i would rather play like if i had to play support thresh right like with caitlin or something like yeah. that and climb with that format or yeah. play any of my champs jungle yeah um i'll I'll back. I back. I'm backing up to mid now. You just are able to control but, so much more of the uh, game. But it's my second. It's my second role because Colton's our main. Mid I'll one v one you for that. the mid lane. I'm not taking. You could. Well, you could one v one me if you wanted to. I, you'd lose. But I play different champions. You can. You can dance around me all you want with Yasuo. But if you one v one me in the Baron pit and I got Volley Bear, you're fucked. I could see it. He thinks that I only play one champion. Well, I only your, play dichot- one champion your you dichotomy guys. is. I feel like Yasuo yeah, so and Zero. I'll, I'll like say that. I'll say this. Everybody who's yeah, watching at home, play one. Colton does not have Yasuo syndrome. So he doesn't. No, you definitely he don't. Definitely mm, does not. Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, everybody play has a bad game sometimes. to it. <laughs> you don't if, have. 
If I'm having fun and I'm strong, I will get Yasuo syndrome. <laughs> if you're taking meds to prevent the Yasuo syndrome, we're fine. You know what I mean? And <laughs> you're good. Um, but yeah, like, I think you just have so much more impact on the game if you have have mid jungle or bot jungle. Yeah, because you bot basically control roaming. I the bot jungle is perfect. And it's either you get priority in mid for scuttles and that's either mm -hmm. rift herald or drag pit and if you have bot prio you, you have prio drag. over scuttle and dragon constantly yes yeah. Yeah. and that's and that's really it isn't it like the game's not won by rift heralds no offense to no. rift herald uh but the game's not won with rifts no i like think there's a statistic somewhere that says if you get a rift herald before a certain point in the game there's like a 78 percent chance that you win or something you like think? Yeah. So, it's like a super random it stat, would, have, it would have to it, be really early i'm think? just saying yeah i'm just saying it's not non-impactful if used properly yeah. and, uh, i mean like yeah but it's rare that you see a shelly end a game yeah. so yeah yeah exactly. i get what you're saying yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Unless we have one of our steamroller games and we get Shelly into the <laughs> enemy base. I, I love I love making Shelly dance <laughs> at the end of the game. It's fantastic. Did you Okay, I am probably the only one who didn't know this, but the function where if you dance by Shelly, she dances with you. Yeah. What? Yeah. Really? Okay, I said it for your sake because I didn't know it and I'm pumped that I, I found just out have about to like it. you literally walk Shelley? up to her and you dance and she starts dancing with you. Yeah. No way. That's yeah. sick. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like a uh, Alawis. If you go, Wait, if she dances near any of the tentacles that have spawned yeah. because of her, they dance with I her. I did know that one. Yeah, oh, really. Yeah. yeah. So, it's just if she's not procked and in her pit. Oh, uh, I understand. Because mm -hmm. I was like, but what if I just danced in the middle of the lane when she was trying to charge the enemy? Would would she dance with it's me? It's just when she's passive at the moment. Yeah. But I'm excited to do it. I just haven't played jungle in a long time. That's fair. Trade you. Sure. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Dan usually plays out. jungle now when we play together, so I just don't get to. Everybody's coming after my. I will never my not play ADC. I need you to know right now that before you join the league team, Spencer, me, and Dan were all jungle mains. So the yeah, jungle, the jungle prio was all over the place before you, and it will continue to be that way. Because if, if I'm being realistic, when you play with us, I don't queue up for this, but my queue is mid jungle, like always. Mm -hmm. It always has. Mm -hmm. It has been mm -hmm. for eight years sure so sure that's just like no one's coming after your spot everyone else just has already had the spot at one point and finds it comfortable hey, i don't you'll never well, see drake, me in jungle drake, drake is like why not i hate jungle drake and pietro yeah. are the two people of the group that don't jungle ever. yeah they're the adc they're carries there's just a difference yeah, yeah. I, think so. I just don't enjoy jungling because i just hate timing and oh, come I, at me in the comments I, if you hate jungling and i'll jungle I'll is my least sure. favorite position <laughs> and i play it because I'm, I slash mute all as soon as someone's like, "Wow, no gank." If you in a lane that's losing real bad two minutes into the game, it's not my fault. You pushed up the tower and died immediately. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I gotta get to level three before everybody's I can like, do anything. For everybody's you, like, homie. "Where's the gank?" And I'm like, "Okay, do you want to dive the tower? Because every time I come down, you slam the lane. Mm. If you want the gank, let." the wave push to you and freeze right before your tower then i come down and i gonka mm -hmm. yep you yeah you but do like, pretty good the, at that. well the issue is i also only play league with friends so when people are bitching about not getting ganks it's like you're getting bitched up by a friend about yeah. not getting a gank that's not like, cool. i'm not that's in not jungle cool. now that's not i'm cool. leaving yeah no it, that's not cool i definitely think nobody that. bitches me out anymore too much but it has happened I mean, I'm a trash jungle. Like, I'm bronze, too. <laughs> if people start wrong, getting but. toxic when I'm in mid lane, I just stop talking and just play. <laughs> and I just have fun. I yeah. don't know. That's kind of how. Yeah. The toxicity is excessive sometimes, but. The toxicity. That's just league, though. We oh, don't city. play any other game where we get toxic. <laughs> we really don't. Like, I've played games with our whole group of friends, like, a million times over. And the only game that makes us. It's league. Pissy is league. Yeah, we yeah. don't. In Iron Sight, we don't. In when we used to play COD. We don't like COD would make us mad, but we'd be like, "Oh, that sucks." Yeah, it was like, mad at we other be like, people. Hey, you're not an idiot for this. You guys yeah. remember the time? I don't know if we should talk about this on the podcast, but oh, you know I, what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. We have really <laughs> dropped the PG things like yeah. quite. We've a bit finished one season. We're, one yeah. season was PG. I'm a little, there we go. I'm a little raunchy today, so sorry. Well, here's the thing: you, like, you don't like I the could language, turn this up to a ten. I'm at a one right now. I don't. I don't think this podcast is meant for people who are under you know the mature audience age well i think it's mostly our friends so they know how we are yeah right? exactly yeah. and like, like i'm not I, trying to save face and no, i mean me if it neither. blew up and we had I've like got a million friends. viewers i'd be like cool they yeah. know who i am i've got some people who like 
don't swear and that kind of thing, and it puts a little pressure on me. But you know what? I don't care. Well, I'm sorry to those No, no, friends. no. I mean, like, let's be fair. Like, people have their own choices, and they make yeah. their own choices, and things make people feel uncomfortable based no, on right. their upbringing and the yada, yada, yada. But yeah. I'm not trying to be anybody that I'm not. Um, yeah. No, I agree completely. Uh, do you remember the time when Joe was in the bot lane? Oh, and, and Joe has um, – l- Joe, I love you. Uh, he ain't listening. Oh, he actually yeah, he does. does. He does. Every time. Uh, yeah, I don't know I think so. every time, but pretty close. Well, then why aren't he we shouting him out with Lisa? We shout him, well, because he doesn't comment or anything uh, like that. Joe, come at us in the comments, buddy. He commented uh, on like anyway, the first episode. But here's the thing. Off. This, is not, this is not a problem with Joe that I'm talking about. So, Joe, I love you. He was in the bot lane. There was a questionable play made. Um, you weren't the ADC. We had a rando ADC. We had Chirp in the mid lane. <laughs> Careful though, because Chirp. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> it was it was funny, but Chirp, like straight up, went deep <laughs> on Joe. Oh, was this? You remember was this that? Clash? Yeah, it was. Oh, clash. I remember. Was, Joe, like she, like um, like uh, I don't know who was the ADC. It was somebody, but anyway, Joe, Joe died. It wasn't really Joe. It was like. Like twenty five percent Joe's responsibility. It was even leave, no listen. It can even really. be a hundred percent, but it's a video game where people die. You're not no, perfect. Listen, twenty no, four listen. seven. This is a story. So it might have been like twenty five percent Joe's fault because he didn't back uh, soon enough and got caught out. Mm. And it was like he like tried to, tried to do an outplay. It didn't work because he didn't have enough HP. But like chirp went off on him. Like, well, what did you do that? He was like, well, I tried to do this and I I did that. And he was like, she was like. Or they were like, apologies. They were like, uh, they were like, uh, I watched the fight. That's not what you did, and I want to know why you did that. And I was like, Oh my god, we're in X Games mode. Yeah, <laughs> what's happening? That's not that's not for me. I don't play League to get shit on anymore. And I actually have a new, uh, I have a new Clash team. Cool. Uh, that's fine by me. I don't you haven't been clash. available, so I don't play yeah. Clash, so I'm not I know. You guys by haven't that. been. You guys haven't been. I'm available. never gonna clash team. Hey. Shout out. Hey. Shout out Gino. Shout out Charlie. At you, this point you in time, wish I was on your. Clash. <laughs> I do. I, I've asked you to be on the clash team. I've asked actually, you to be on the clash team a couple times. I like the people that you play with too. Charlie and Gino are, are, are good people. You played a couple couple games with us before. I played. Right? I played with Charlie that played one Charlie time. A couple times. Yeah. yeah, he's a great great dude. He should be listening because we're both into the whole media thing, but he's not. And when he listens to this for the first time in 35 years, <laughs> hear me now, Charlie. I'm disappointed in you. Oh. Uh, not in your ability in the mid lane, but in your ability I'm to I'm disappointed watch in the fact that you play mid lane. Rippers. <laughs> Ripperoni. Um, yeah, anyway, so new Clash team. We kind of do okay. Yeah, that's fair. There's just no There's just no tilt, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. a no you tilt gotta, You got to go We with have our own Discord. Are... We just like... Che- we like... <gasps> It's locked. T- it's and, and and it's locked to five participants only in the voice channel, nice. so that we can't have other people come in when they're cool. not playing. Such a big thing when we play Clash. Yes. For some reason, like every single everybody night, comes in every night of the week. I will be the only person in call for eight hours, and then as soon as we play Clash, there's fifteen people in that yeah. call, and I'm like, I can't hear a word anyone saying. Yeah. Like we're tryharding right now, and everyone's talking over us. Yeah. I don't. I'm not. I'm not here for that anymore. Um, I just want it to be calm and cool and collected and quiet. We we I think we do have it available for six people just because like sometimes people want to come in and like actually provide value and coach and watch one of the streams, mm-hmm. which is fine. Mm-hmm. Like uh, we had actu- actually like a, a diamond player come in the other day when we clashed and like uh, might not have been diamond, might have been plat, but something like that, and just like helped us with draft for a minute and then left. But like that's cool. But don't come in and like have a side conversation when we're in the middle of a clash game, mm-hmm. right? I'm an admin. Yeah, in where? Now. Oh, are you? In the Discord. Hey! Uh, uh, yeah. That was terrible. Now, now, you wanna... now we're admins We're admin together. bros. Yeah, I'm pumped. Do you want to be an admin? It, it's a... Nah, he can't... Nah, 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 nah. I didn't get the special power just to have everyone start getting the special <laughs> power. You can't make me <laughs> feel less special. Cole goes on the Discord Sorry. one day Sorry, and literally have... everybody Listen, who's on the Discord is an admin. <laughs> I only wanted to be an admin so that I could... How did you ban, get admin privileges? So I could ban Spencer. <laughs> did you ban him? No. Okay, I'm, I'm going to wait until we're all in call together. I'm just going to boot him and then re-add him later. <laughs> did Jerry give you the per- yeah. the perms? Yeah. Nice. Shout yeah. out, Jerry. I know yeah. you're not listening, you yeah. bastard. We were playing some TFT last night, and he was like, hey, look at the look Jerry at the was disc. playing TFT with you? Fuck. Yeah. He was banned. like, where's Matt? And I was like, probably oh, he, he in asked bed. About, he yeah. asked about him? Oh, I love that It guy. was like 9.30 Jerry's my best friend, Pro Strat. I've known him since the day he was born. I was born five days before him. Pro so suck, bro. Well, you, okay. <laughs> well, you have no memories of him being born. I didn't know how much older than him you were. No, I don't. But I was literally in the hospital with him. I also didn't know, he was, like, 
like so whenever you guys talk i'm like where does this guy live and i found Newfoundland. out where he yeah well i wasn't gonna say it but i was like i mean i know Prov- that's not Provence doxing but i was just like yeah. i was just like oh he doesn't live that far away like i thought he was in it's a different not, time zone than no. us it technically is yeah. 30 minutes yeah. but it's not it's not like it's not major. drastic yeah no it's it's major enough that when you say be home at 8 30 it's nine for him and he we get kind of confused that a couple of times when mm-hmm. we were getting ready for clash and stuff so mm. um but anyway yeah so that's my one hype mode yeah. statement that i have to say super fun yeah. super fun oh you also know. i went for a walk last night and i walked past you know the road that we were talking about that has a different name than our road yeah I walked past there, and one of the, like, um, little townhouses, there was, like, six people in a living room with computers all around the room playing League of Legends. <laughs> oh, my God. No way. <laughs> and, you, and there really? was a TV with, like, a stream on it and everything. I, I just I, straight up I, knocked on the door. I walked past, and I was like, do I <laughs> knock on the door? But I was not in a way that I would be uh, talking <laughs> no, to enough, people, enough, enough, to say enough. the least. Yeah. But, if, um, if, I, if, if we, we go for a walk, and there's five people playing League of Legends, and we see them. I'm not knocking on the door. I'm knocking on the door. I will wait until they No, come I'm knocking up. on the door and be like, are you guys a local esports team? What's up, guys? I will wait until I walk past there and one of them. The ICB Beans podcast, podcast will sponsor you. Yeah, exactly. Mm. We'll, we'll give you... We have no money. Uh, I will buy t-shirts. I will cricket emblems on them and give them free t-shirts. Yep. Perfect. And, and then now they start winning. sports team, and they're all like bronze. <laughs> They're all bronze. Yeah. Well, we're we, literally we, better players. <laughs> we cut a deal, and if they actually are a team and they make winnings, we make profit. Hell yeah. We take a percentage of whatever they win at tournaments. We'll slap those patches on their jerseys. Hell yeah, yeah, even exactly. if they play really badly, we Hell still yeah. get Hell yeah. hey, no publicity is bad publicity. It is. That's what yeah. I've been told. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Do we uh, want to start rating this place? Because I it's, think so. It's yeah. pretty good. It, is it? Yeah. Oh hell yeah! I've been kind of waiting to rate it because um, like I think it's we're I think we're right about here. So we went to two if by C, two if by C, two two e spicy, <laughs> two o spicy, two o spicy. <laughs> yeah, two o spicy. We went to the two o spicy and had a poo poo <laughs> <laughs> Um I had ice mocha. You had a nice mocha. Okay, yep. perfect. I had uh, an americano. Nice. I have the puppuccino, which we just yeah. went over. If you guys don't know what a puppuccino is, Americano. it's the slang that we use for an American. No, just kidding. <laughs> the slang we use for a cappuccino. Can we call it a Canadiano on the show since you call it a puppuccino? You can call it whatever you want. We just used to make fun of cappuccinos. When well, we, were we just need to yeah. make special we'll names for all of our it's standard drinks. Yeah. Uh, Americano. Canadiano. I don't, I don't know if that works. Let's, let's workshop it offline. Is it originated from America? Well, we no, went so through that like three weeks we ago, like three four weeks, weeks ago. ago. But basically, like I'm assuming, oh, means it's Italian. Coffee, right? Coffee, coffee. Yes. In Italy, where I think it's arguable that coffee originated in Italy. Let's let's not debate that. But I think it's arguable that like, it's, it's probably one of the origin like, places. It's an origin where, place, where yeah. the beans were growing. We're talking about yeah. South America, yeah. Yeah. Africa. But like, all that kind let's, of stuff. let's say it's the it's not the origin of coffee but the origin of espresso sure it's the origin of oh, yeah. good coffee it's the origin <laughs> of proper coffee so basically in italy they if you ask for a coffee you just get espresso mm. and the theory this is unsubstantiated but the theory is that when the italians brought coffee to america they the americans couldn't handle the the intensity of the espresso so they put hot water in and it kind of like creates a cup of coffee but with espresso so that they could serve the americans hence the americano mm-hmm. that's where I th- that's it's where we doll. yeah it's got canadian water in it it's canadiano uh, we'll workshop it i'm not quite ready to commit <laughs> yeah um, me neither. i I'll i am. table that one we'll it's table already, that one. already in my vocabulary it's going down Unplugs the mic. <laughs> <laughs> and this is now a two-person show. Then, well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the ICB Podcast. You're here with your constant co-hosts, Maddie J and Drake G. Fired. That's fine. <laughs> no, it's fine. You still own uh, 33 and a third percent of the IP, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean something in life. <laughs> you do. You do. I have something. Yeah, you do. Um, um, let's, shall we roll into a, a vibe check or Reno? Uh, vibe straight vibe check? Uh, isn't that what we always do? Is it vibe check first? No, flavor check first. Is it flavor, flavor then Dude, vibe? How many episodes? Man, I don't know. <laughs> hey, everybody. I... Welcome back to the 
fourteenth episode of the Ice and Bean Podcast, season two, episode two, 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 three, two. Three. three, three, three. We, we always forget. So far? We're on episode thirteen. Right? Oh yeah, Uncommon Grounds, and then we went to Cafe Lara, and Cafe now Lara, and now okay. Yep. Hey everybody, welcome three. back to the Ice and Bean Podcast. Here for episode three. <laughs> yeah, Catherine's gotten <laughs> two shoutouts so far. This shout out, Catherine. Yeah, three shout outs. Hey. What's up, Catherine? Yeah, congrats. Good to see you on the other side of that. She better continue to watch this. You better specifically yeah. for the shout outs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, flavors. Let's go. I'm just right. dumb. <laughs> it, no, you're not. You're not dumb. It's just. It's a hard time. It's you a, go first it's since you're since you're so time. ambitious over there. Tell me about your poo poo Cappuccino was pretty spicy. Is it a true spicy meatball? It was a spicy meatball. Would you say like, too o spicy? It was a too o spicy. Yeah. Um, like. In that similar experience that we've had when we had uh, North Mountain Coffee, yep, they're using anchored anchor anchor coffee, which I've heard of a little bit before, but not done a whole lot of research into. Um, but this was a really really good cappuccino. Was it? It was robust and had a lot of different flavor profiles. It was nutty and a little bit chocolatey and mm-hmm. a little bit floral, which Ooh. is cool. Yep. Yeah. A really nice balance of the milk and foam and espresso, which is great. Um, so for all those oh, reasons no, here it comes. Oh, listed fuck. above, it's going to be a nine. A nine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Whew, I was worried there for a minute. I thought we were going to 9.5 it. And then my whole, no. my whole conceptualization of life was going to go out the window. <laughs> No, it's a it's, niner. That's a really good score. And, yeah. And honestly, like, I definitely think that the beverages need to be really strong because it could be rough in the back half. But, mm-hmm. um, no, look, uh, <laughs> I, I got the Americano, and, and you know, like, we have um, two drinks that are very similar in the sense mm. yours just your hot the 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 bulk profile for you is milk and, yeah. and foam, and the bulk profile for me is water. Water. Right? Yeah, so exactly. We, we like. The driving force here is the anchored. It's anchored. I just remember. I can see it. It's anchored. That's what I thought. Yeah. I wasn't sure though. We should Google that. Can you Google that? Sure. Thank you. What am I looking at? Uh, anchored, anchored coffee. Anchored coffee. I just want to properly shout them out because it's it's really good. Like it's very much akin to like a North Mountain. Yeah. Oh yeah. For me, like North Mountain has been the best independent coffee. Sorry, Java. It is actually called anchored. Coffee. It's anchored. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Um. So anchored really good and i think that's the key here isn't it the o- the only time that we've been places that have really impressed us is when they've gone off of the main brand coffee beans yep absolutely and like no like java is has a place in the heart of nova scotia forever like yes it's not going anywhere and i'll drink java don't don't get me wrong mm-hmm. but like north mountain killed it at apartment three they absolutely did right and we had where else did they serve North Mountain? There was one other place in season one um, that I I can't remember. But I think it, it was, was also good. It just what's wasn't the place done that you as... named yet so far? What what it, apartment it was... three? Okay, that was I think it was I, I think it was mind, Chester's. So. Yes, it was. Yeah, even though Chester was well. just the push button, it was still exceptional quality because they were using really good quality really good beans. Quality beans. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I think Anchored is pretty good quality too. Wow. Yeah, uh, I, I'm I gonna. Would... I'm going to slap this back here. Oh, that's nice. Um, Aggressive. <laughs> so it's fruity mm-hmm. and it's got like a really nice like balance of acidity, which I really enjoy. Like it, it may not be as prevalent in yours versus No, cause I've because I've got this. You've got the milk. Yeah. But I, I can get like uh, almost weird like tannin. Ah, kind of strange, interesting. But like, but like I'm okay with it. I'm so really out it. there. It's not out there at all. It, it's like um, it's got a really good. It's like cloudy mouthfeel. Yeah. When Drake it's said chocolatey, what did you say? Hazelnutty, flowery, nutty, nutty, floral. floral. I, don't, I just can't taste that. You can. You just haven't. You just haven't been. You haven't associated the flavor profiles yet. That's all it is. Yeah. Just, uh, Everybody can. You can train. Uh, pal- palates are trainable. Yep. I'm just. Premise. I'm just. Right. Uneducated. Yeah. Well, Ignorant. we're working on. We're working. I drink the we're same gonna, thing every time. We're not working on we're anything. We're going to get you there. We're going to get you there. <laughs> Look where you are now versus where you were in That's season the exact one. exact same place. Yes. No. You know, two descriptor words an episode now. Yeah. That's what we're getting. And, anyways, um, sorry. No, no problem. Um, it's really good. Um, I definitely think that the milk might bring out a little more of the nuttiness than 
than is just apparent here. Yeah. Um, but it's interesting how different mediums can apply different background, can bring different background flavors to flavor. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give it a nine, too. Nine. Yeah, solid. It's, it's a really That's solid awesome. Americano. And I would go back and get another one um, if it weren't for the rampant alarm testing. <laughs> we'll <laughs> which, get to that. Which, again, Isn't sucks. necessarily the fault. But no. I kind of have a headache now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> To that's be honest, fair. it's been riding that poor ever lady. since I got there. She was embarrassed. Yeah, for sure. Why don't you go ahead? You got a mocha, right? Ice mocha. Yeah, I've got an ice mocha. Um, super good. Super good? Super good. Describe it a little bit for me. Uh, it's a very uh, chocolatey drink that is very... Um, how do I explain it? A really good ice mocha to me is yeah. actually like... Thick. Okay. <laughs> I don't know yeah, how yeah, else yeah, to yeah. describe okay. it. Okay, okay. Cool. Like, okay, whoa. Like, whoa. We're in touchdown. Well, I just have realized that... No, like, no, no. But th- when, I'm talking about, when I'm talking about mouthfeel mm. in my Americana, mm. that's that's thick. Well, if... If, if, like, if it's an, got a good I, feel because if it's an thick. ice mocha is really watery, I find it has no flavor, and all I get out of it is the the coffee flavor. Yep, so this one was like, I don't know, they must have balanced it good or something because mm-hmm. it was like there's a good amount of chocolate throughout the whole thing, not just yep. at the base. Nice. Um, okay. Oh my God, we're in X Games mode. We've got like three so far. We're balanced. Thick, watery. Thick. We had watery. Watery absolutely counts. Uh, it does, but but this was not watery. No, oh, that's it right. Good. I'm just saying yeah. this one was really good. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I'm gonna follow suit though and give it a nine. Bye. I was gonna give it. I was gonna give it an eight point five, but I can give this one a nine. And since everybody else gave nines, I'm gonna give a nine too. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. That Plus, makes sense. I'll give a nine for the the girl with the headache behind the cash yeah. register. Oh, I feel Four. terrible for the people I feel working so there. So bad for her. They're oh, gonna be there yeah. for the next three plus hours. I imagine that. That alarm will stop, though. I would, I would hope. How I many apartments hope. are in that building? Because hell, oh ha- because every single like time they go into an apartment, probably, f- like it's. The yeah, but at least building, they're so sizzling least through it. Twenty, yeah. probably twenty units. Yeah, mm-hmm. so twenty times they have to hear that. Yeah, they said it was going for a while before plus we the got there too. The so yeah. at least plus it the was alarms in the hallways and the over. entryway. Yeah, that's gruesome. Yeah, so nine. Nice. What about vibe check? Because this is where. Yeah. I need to summon, tank we need a, to little summon bit there. a little bit of a vibe because the experience was really bad today. We will, yeah. But there were a few things that we can't, that we have to, in front of the jury, omit. Yes. As a result of things that are not controllable uh, by the business. Such as the fire alarm Such going off. Such as the fire off. alarm going four, off. Four times when we were yeah, in there for at approximately least four times. eight minutes. Yeah. So the problem is like, so for me, shall I start? Yeah, or go who, for it. Does no, anybody, it. Is anybody really passionate? No, you go for it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool I think cool. you're definitely the most passionate. All right, so here, here's the thing for me. So when you go in there and you walk in there, yeah, um, it's like – so we talked about this on the way home, and I kind of like – I feel like they went for the sort of like, like the slightly degraded hipster vibe. But then they didn't do any updates as they went along. And now it's actually degraded, slightly degraded hipster vibes. Um, it didn't feel like, you know, okay. You know when you walk into an establishment in the middle of the winter and there's salt all over the floor and they, ha- and they haven't swept or mopped? Right. Right. It felt like that. And there's no salt on the ground yet. Yeah. Maybe a little bit, but not enough to like track it into your establishment. But it felt like that level of. It, it wasn't dirty. Like, they had good cleanliness standards, but it felt like that. Yeah. And that, that to me, it wasn't... I didn't feel welcomed when I walked in. Yes. Big thing for me. Yep. Do I feel welcomed? Yeah, I completely right? agree with that. Now, the, the, the setup in the way that uh, 2FYC works, it's fairly reasonable due to the pandemic social distance, yep. right? You actually do walk in a proper loop and, and then go back out to the door. Fine. Absolutely okay. Not gonna not gonna shrek on them for that, like I have been that the last couple of com- episodes. Yeah, I was gonna say that was, was a complaint of yours. That it had, they yeah, did, they did more properly. I would say. So. Yeah, yeah, hundred p. So, the thing is, though, is like it's just it, to me, it feels run down, and like they're definitely like on a busy day. I just picture like like big thick turtleneck sweaters that are knee length and like leggings and blundstones and like <laughs> I'm gonna go skinny, hang out there. Skinny jeans and like some some like really heavy toques and mm-hmm. like um maybe the odd lip piercing 
right? Yeah. Like it's very. <laughs> 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 Sit down, you're fine. <laughs> it's, it's, it's him. If you don't have blunt stones. No, I don't find them very comfortable, no. Anyway, so because of all of that, like they're 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 hipster tryhards. Yeah, is I my, think so. is my opinion. Yeah. They're hipster tryhards. Colton <laughs> is not a hipster tryhard. He he wore a US he has a University of South Carolina sweater that he wore today. He's not a he's not a hipster tryhard. Um, it still fits the, the definition. But you're not a try hard. You're not sweating. You no. know what I mean? Like you're not sweating. Oh, I am. You just don't know it. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you, 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 your outfit choices have balance, right? We're not just hipsters. So they're anyway. They're hipster tryhards, <laughs> and this is not necessarily a bad thing for all those hipsters out there who are listening. I own a pair of Blundstones. It's fine. I wore mine today. Here's the thing, though, is that just the overall ambiance didn't feel welcome any. Because it felt a little bit like hipstery rundown establishment, it didn't like add to like I didn't feel warm when I walked in. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like it was very pale and lots of gray. The walls were kind of murky and covered by a lot of things, so there's not a lot of like color balance. It just felt like it felt like you walk in and it's like ah nothing. It just it felt weird. Yeah, there was nothingness there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna summon a vibe check. I am excluding. The the rampant alarms because it wasn't their fault. The wait staff was lovely, although the guy that was making the drinks did not seem lovely. Uh, he just was he just was like Americano. Said it on the counter, didn't even make eye contact with me. Yeah. I said thank you. He didn't respond. So I'm gonna give it a four. A four. Yeah, that's fair. Completely well, fair. Four on the vibe check, dude. I can't like look. No, no shade or anything like that. It just wasn't as hype as hey, I, I go would next. Like it to be. Yeah, go for it. Sweet. Are you? Good. I'm all finished. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I would uh, interrupt you at the end. No, no, no. You go right ahead. I would have rambled for another three minutes. So I'm about to. So go ahead. <laughs> I yield Not the next actually. three minutes of my time to the president of the United Not States. Not actually a ramble, just like some basic points, I sure. guess. Hit when it. you when you walk into a coffee Hit shop it. in Halifax that Hit is based it. around uh. the concept uh. of like the hipster vibe, mm-hmm. which I don't think is a bad vibe because I like the the rustic kind of feel that some of them hit with that attempt um but that being said like typically you walk into a place and you're like this looks a tiny bit run down but also old-fashioned and wired monk but also well okay so this is the thing that i think makes a good hipster restaurant you walk in you're like ooh, it doesn't look that great but then everything impresses you about it you know what i mean like you walk in you're like oh they have like state-of-the-art machinery and like all that stuff so it's like you're getting super good quality things and sitting inside of a place that doesn't make you feel like you're trying to be rich that's the hipster mindset i would say and this place does half of that correctly which is the i'm sitting in a place that doesn't make me feel (laughs) rich and it's also (laughs) small and it's run down and there's a a fold-up table where you pay and then you walk over to a guy who is wearing a bull's hat which i give him credit for but everything else about him makes you think wow i don't want to take my coffee from this guy because he might shoot me um because he did seem mean he He was a little mean. he didn't even like like it's one thing to not say like any extra words when you hand the coffee i don't care about that but he looked grumpy. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I was a little it, scared. it was 10 a.m. and he was listening to a loud ass fire alarm. Yeah. But still kind of try to have a little bit of customer service. Yeah. Um, a little nicey nice. So I mm. think that we'll this okay. this place was. It really ticked a lot of the lesser ideal qualities of a place for me. So mm. I'm giving it a a two. A two. <laughs> two. Yeah, yeah that's, you know what? That's, that's pretty fair. And it's not even Deep. like that's not even the whole story. That's just like the starting points. Like I don't think there was a whole lot of space to sit. Like there wasn't. Yeah, there's like an upstairs, but like does that upstairs lead yeah. to like more tables? Yes. Because that's a little bit better. But yeah. if it was just the space downstairs for where you were able to sit, there would be like three people worth of room up yeah. at most. Yeah. And like it's a bit rough. If it. The fact that I gave it a two is bad because if we would have went in there and it was like super busy, I would have had a way worse experience. Yeah, totally. You know what I mean? Yep, absolutely. Like, I think we caught it on a dead point, and yep. I think that's even worse for their sake, inside wise, yep. because, like, if it seems run down and generic when there's not a million people in your face trying to order a coffee, then imagine if you go in there at like lunchtime. Yeah, not so, a, not a bop. So, coffee great, vibe check not good, mm. not good. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. No, agreed completely. Um. 
I'm just going to bounce like off of both of your guys' opinions because I agree with everything that you both said in just the sense that like when you walk into a coffee shop, you want to feel something. And I walked in there and I was like, there's nothing. Yep. I felt nothing about that place. Yeah. I was not wowed. I was not like, ooh. I was not like, uh. I was just like, uh. I got right. I got to give a shout out to the guy that we just dissed really hard though mm. the angry looking guy he did have some nice looking tattoos yes so he just did putting that out yes there. he did he absolutely did um, but yeah there was just no like there was no factor it was mm-hmm. just pure middle of the road just walked into a place and was yep. just like yes I agree and and here's the thing like let's theorize a little bit for a brief moment mm-hmm. like are they a new shop. No, mm-hmm. no, no, they've been, no, they've been for a while. Forever. Never mind then. That, that removes this, the only excuse I could have given. And this them. is the problem, right? Yeah. Like, and this is why I see this as an issue. Is like, like, evolve your business. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, you know, make changes. They don't have to be major, but they have to be there, right? I just like the when we say they're hipster, it's almost like. In my mind, I'm going, okay, a hipster company to me resembles something that is on the startup and can't afford the fancy things, but they're, like, trying to make the crowd like them regardless of what right. they are appearing to be. Mm-hmm. But if you're around forever and yeah. you're not at least semi-modernized in the sense that someone can walk in and just say, oh, I enjoy this place, right. then you're doing it wrong. Yep. <laughs> like, you Agreed don't completely. keep that new shop feel that makes people, yeah. like, like you for and your like, feel, like, your, absolutely. your company. Yeah. Yeah. Like, shout out Forever. to the concept. Like, two if by C, it's a very cool um, name. Yeah. But I just didn't feel great. I just didn't feel great. And, and the hand sanitizer was out. That being said, yes. I would go back just for <laughs> yeah. the coffee. I would go. B- I would get an Americana there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, it's worth it. Uh, my I, I didn't actually give a rating. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. All right. Yeah, <laughs> I interrupted you. I'm no, sorry. it's okay. Uh, I'm going to give it a uh, four as well. I agree with you, Matt, on that one. Four, two, four. Everybody yeah, in the four, nice. two, four. Everybody in the so three hundred three. Three hundred four. Is I don't know. I'm I'm like error four hundred four right now. So <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So four two four. Four two four. Four two four. Pretty low not scores on the vibe check. Not no, good. not not a vod. Not a vod. Not good. No. Now is it remove the it? fire alarm. Mm-hmm. Let me sit down with the human that I took my order from and have a coffee and a conversation, and we're good to go. She seemed like an interesting lady. I don't know what I don't know what to say about this worth it. Oh, the worth it's easy cuz I do you go based off of like environment? Cuz I go stri- strictly based off of like how no. good the coffee was. No, it's money. It's money. Like there's a lot of contributing factors. It's in the power pocket right now right. for me. Mhm. Right? So it's like it's got the potential and I'm just mm-hmm. trying to think through of like like how like how I would do this because the cost of my Americana was three dollars, mm. and plus tax, um, so it was like three bucks, um, and it was really good, but I've had a cheaper Americana, right? right. But it wasn't as good, right? Mm. Right. So like I think I, and in fairness, it was like at Chester's with the push button. You know, when you're in the coffee industry, guys. To say that your whips push button no car keys, man, it's not something to brag about. You know, you wanna, you wanna be, you wanna be hit, parking those pucks yourself. Yep. So, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it. You know what? It's three bucks. I'm gonna give it a three. A three. Yeah. Nice. We're we're in that range. Like it's very worth. Yeah. I yeah, would, would go back. Yep. Right. Colton. Uh. Ice mocha was pretty standard. I got yep. ten ounce instead of twelve ounce. Ten mm-hmm. ounce was. 425 12 ounce was 475 oh. uh, with tip it was like 550 um i thought it was really good um little expensive for the t- like i'd like to see the 12 ounce be 450 and the 10 ounce be like 375 but that's a very minuscule amount of money that's just yeah. like what would put it one tick below no, everywhere else completely. so that completely. it would be like a specifically notable like, thing what's the difference between 10 and 2 yeah 10 and 12 sorry yeah but not, like not um coffee was like exceptionally good so considering the fact that it was a standardized price for an exceptionally good coffee i'll give it like a three as well perfect because i would go back and get another one so it seems very fair yeah yeah that's that's like that makes a lot of sense but like just to clarify if if it was 375 instead of 425 it might have got like a 2.5 because it would have been that little teeny tiny difference from everyone else yeah that makes sense yeah 
Um, I paid three seventy five for an eight ounce, mm -hmm. which is pretty reasonable. I would in, say so in my realm because I've paid four fifty for an eight ounce yeah. at other places. That was significantly worse than this. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think just really quickly, like it was a great cappuccino and it was a very reasonable price for what I got. So I think it deserves a three. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to go 2.5. I'm going to drop it down to a 2.5. Yeah. Okay. It, it, yeah. I think the mystique of two if by C has now been debunked. Mm -hmm. Great beverages. Yep. Right. And that's, that's, what's going to keep people coming back. Like if I remember on this side of, of, the bridge i will go to two if by sea to get a cappuccino mm -hmm. so i'm not even going to take the fact that i have to travel a distance to get to it if i'm here i would go there in a heartbeat cafe good luck though ah if i had to pick one or the other it'd be two if by sea very fair it was just a better better just a better overall yeah. experience i would say yeah better beverage i would go to cafe good luck though for the other things yeah for sure they have the market and some other baked goods that were really really good really was that the yeah. other one in dartmouth yeah, yeah the one we went okay. to quite some time ago that one did not have a good drink for me but i did like the market as well yeah, yeah it was quite one. nice yeah. oh yeah it's definitely different yeah yep. yeah all right guys well that's it for us uh for today's episode uh thanks for listening thanks for watching if you're on youtube mm -hmm. um if you wouldn't mind please like and subscribe uh it would mean a lot to us you want to keep notified of when we release our podcasts. Yeah. Um, make sure to follow us on our socials. We have Instagram. We do. And we have Twitter. We sure do. Both are at Ice and Bean Pod. Little play on words there. If you I'll want. argue <laughs> anybody in Instagram messages about iced coffee. How about that? Hell yeah. Go since for you it. always throw out Engage. the... Since you always challenge Recommend. people in the comments, I'll yeah. challenge people in the DMs. Why not? Somebody tweet at me yeah. on the Ice and Bean Pod Twitter, and I'll argue with you on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. We've got a trifecta of glory arguments. It shall be. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> Guys, listen. <laughs> I'm the weakest arguer. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching again. We're oh. going to sign off. What, can Do I... have any... Closing remarks? Closing remarks. I do, very quickly. Yes. One, apologies for the promises made on last week's episode for the people who are oh, listening yes. to this week's episode. Um, but what I can say, yes. December 15th mm -hmm. for us, mm -hmm. December 22nd for you. Yeah. Keep your eyes out oh. and your ears out. A special guest. Yeah. Yeah, we had to delay. There were some logistical issues. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know. Uh, oh, and also... Totally unrelated. Shout out Lisa, our super fan. Thank you for watching and always commenting. Yeah, we appreciate sure, that. Thanks, like and, uh, you know, uh, really appreciate that. Uh, anyway, um, sounds good, guys. We'll catch you on the flip side. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.